I would like to welcome you here today. Um, I hope that you'll find today very interesting and I think you've made the right decision thinking about Belfast Met as being part of your learning journey. What you can expect at Belfast Met are really committed teachers who are very interested in your future and your success. You'll also have access to fantastic buildings and our labs and our workshops uh, have the best of equipment in them, which is industry standard. So you know that you will develop the skills and the abilities that will take you forward in terms of your learning now and into the future. It's my hope that you'll have a fantastic experience at Belfast Met. Not only will you learn uh, the skills that you need for your future, but you'll also make friends and also hopefully develop motivation and a real passion for learning that will take you further either into uh, future courses or indeed into the employment. At Belfast Met you can be assured that we have worked with employers and with different sectors to ensure that what we are delivering in terms of our curriculum meets their needs and therefore it should meet your needs as well. So I think that you'll have a fantastic experience if you choose Belfast Met. So I do think that you've made the right decision coming to Belfast Met. I hope what you'll hear today will really help inform your decision. And I hope to see you uh, come September as a new student at Belfast Met. My name is Jim Woods. I'm the head of Learner Services at Belfast Metropolitan College. I'd like to spend some time today telling you about the pre-entry advice and guidance session that you're about to experience and how it will help you determine your future within Belfast Metropolitan College. A PEG session is something that's tailored specifically to your needs. It's about letting the staff who know about your course deliver the information that you need to know. It's critically important that the course stretches you, that increases your learning, and that puts you onto the pathway of success, whether that's an employment or indeed progressing on to another course. So as part of the session, you will find out what the college expects from you, and more importantly, from your point of view, what you can expect from the college. The college will determine if you already have the qualifications in hand, whether you can get a place on the course directly, if you're waiting qualifications in August time, around A-levels and GCSE results, they will perhaps give you an offer or placing you on a waiting list. Applications can hold only one offer at a time, but of course your application will be considered for up to five courses. The Belfast Metropolitan College will advertise their course criteria on their website and their prospectus. First of all, you will need to meet the criteria to get onto the course. After that, the college will revert to the date of application to pick who should be the successful applicant. Applicants can only hold one offer at any given time, although they can apply for up to five courses. If you receive an offer for another course, you'll have to surrender one of the offers, but you can still remain on the waiting list. Once you apply for a course, you will be invited to a pre-entry advice and guidance session, which is specific to your course. Therefore, you can apply for up to five courses, you will need to attend a specific PEG for each of the courses as they're tailored to that individual programme. There are numerous people who apply to the college and apply to other establishments as well. So some of the people who currently have an offer will not take up that offer and will then go to the next available person on the wait list which is taken on date order. You will of course have to make the criteria for that course. When vacancies arise on the courses, we will contact the next available person. But you must bear in mind that a lot of this won't happen until August because a lot of people are waiting for the results coming out, whether A-level GCSEs or various other programmes. In that instance, a member of the course team will contact you, ask you to come into the college with your results to claim your place. It is very, very important that you attend all of the appointments that you've been invited to, and more critically, that you keep your contact details up to date via telephone and particularly with email. We actually have a little utility. We'll invite you to fill in the subjects that you're currently studying or the qualifications that you already have. You will then be invited on results day to complete those very quickly. But as well as that, you will actually bring in hard copies of your results to claim your place at an endorsement centre, where the staff will go through the results there with you to make sure you meet the criteria. It is highly unlikely that you won't receive regular updates following your application. But in the event that you do, you could check the website and check the portal to which you'll have a unique login that's been provided for you. If by the endorsement time that you haven't received a place on a course, we do advertise clearing days and places left available on the website. And I really, really can't stress enough the importance of you keeping your contact details, both email and phone numbers, up to date. At any time after your PEG, 
If you decide that this isn't the course that you need to be on or it's an inappropriate level, you will be able to transfer to another course or indeed make further application to a course which is more relevant to your needs. And we would encourage you to do that. Getting on the correct course at the correct level is critical to your success and it will place you in a course that is fit for you. If you decide that you no longer wish to take up a place with us, please let us know so that we can have other people avail of the spaces that may be available to them. So I've been doing interactive design in TQ and Belfast Met, so which is basically graphic design and web design. And um, the skills you learn from that are vast, like you learn from doing bootstrap to CSS, HTML, learn Illustrator, Photoshop, loads of different software and all the facilities you have are, are amazing because you get given all of that just within your course. So it's like in between school and university so you do get a bit more independence than school but you still helped more than university so you would get the chance to have one-to-one -one sessions with your tutor to see how you're getting on with your work and stuff. I have had a few team projects which we have had to go out to do some filming and also get a client to build a website for them so we've been working with like real life clients as well as just with each other so we've had to make a team leader and be able to all work together and we're on a team and lead a team at the same time because we all did that at one stage. Our tutors encouraged us before um, placement to go out and have a look for some ourselves and they would also have some options as well so we are encouraged to do it as ourselves and get help from our tutors as well. So I got my placement through my tutor sent to me and then came for an interview which wasn't too grueling as I expected it to be and then got the placement here at Belfast Met. So I don't think I was ready to go to university straight away after school so this was a great option for an in-between course and then to access onto further courses that I'll be able to do at university this year coming. So I've really enjoyed my experience here at Belfast Met on my placement. Well, I recently had a career change and I uh, moved from a completely different sector, so from sort of the creative side of things to the business side of things. Um, thankfully, whenever I got my job, Belfast Met enabled, actually had part-time courses that were able to fit in with, what, um, with my work schedule. So I really wanted to have qualifications in the area in which I was working. So by the fact, just by the fact that it was in the evenings, as I say, it enabled me, I was able to work by day and gain my qualifications at night. If it hadn't have been for the fact and the nature of it being part-time, I don't think I would have been able to have studied. I graduated, as I say, it was a full year course. I uh, managed to get all my assignments done, uh, my exams done. I was actually quite surprised at what I got. So it was, uh, again, uh, done really well, graduated, and yeah, it's gonna open up a lot of doors sort of in my area. Uh, again, the fact that it's flexible, the fact that it's right on our doorstep here in Belfast, and the fact that the, the facilities are so good. I could not recommend Belfast Met highly enough.